Libra, gangity gang 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 gang. Uh, yeah, play it again, Sam. Just kidding. Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you could call me the ghetto nut. So Libra, I'm here to just do this. You know what? I don't even know why the fuck I'm here. I mean, I do know why I'm here, but I don't feel like I should be doing a love reading. I'll touch on it, but I feel like I need to talk to Libras for some Maybe because I'm a Libra. I don't know. I just feel like this energy is a little funny. I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all feel the same way with this whole retrograde shit. Me personally speaking, I don't really feel like motherfuckers boomeranging. I feel like it's like a force field around Libra. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like there are people that may want to approach Libra, but ain't nobody doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I feel like our retrograde is a little different. It's like motherfuckers can't get past the glass. They like, ding, 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 right? Can't even get to Libra type shit. Anyway, as you can tell, I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all my cards out upright in my... Why do dogs spin around before they lay down? Like, they do that shit four times. I don't understand. I, <laughs> uh, I do start all my cards out upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I pre-shuffle, but I didn't. I mean, I did pre-shuffle, but I didn't lay some cards out. I just did your oracle and then uh, clarified that, okay? Because I, I didn't really know where I was going with this here, Libra, Okay. So I got your oracle and your, and your clarification out, which is what I got in the pre-shuffle. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single Libra. Give no fitnox. Info for private readings will be below the video. Libra. So look, this your bonus video, G. Let's just say this for the remainder of July, right? Which is going to be all the way through this retrograde. That's just a def. D-E-A-F is in Frank. Def. No, I'm just playing. Def. Transmigration is what this is. That got clarified with the King of Wands right this uh being is moving it's going towards the light it's like fuck all y'all type shit same thing like the king of wands moving is what i'm getting libra i feel like you uh you see this shit i said a force field the song i kept hearing for y'all i'm gonna post in the comment because i kept singing it before i was getting ready to do your video and i'm like why do i keep singing this song it's that foxy brown and total song i can't rock with you no more Y'all remember that shit? Say it again, say it again, say it again. I'm gonna say it again. I can't rock with you no more. Right? Death car. I can't rock with you motherfuckers no more. I'm out of here. Right? Say it again, say it again. That's what I feel, Libra. That's what I feel for y'all. I swear I'm channeling on the same shit. The, the death card in this uh, Oracle deck says... uh. I ain't going to read the whole shit because y'all know how it gets down. It says your guides from the spirit world will remain by your side. Transmigration ensures you will emerge wiser and more powerful than ever before as you face change and leave behind the old familiar form. Let go and surrender. Your tendency for control does not serve anymore. Change your perception and see the bigger picture. Everything is working out perfectly. Familiarity is not a reason to hold on to the old. New life awaits. You are ready to move on. Trust. It said bet. It said honey. Right? You ready to move on. That's why I said. I can't rock with you no more. Same thing with the King of Wands. King of Wands don't sit still. Libra, y'all saying sayonara, sayonara, sayonara to a lot of motherfuckers is what I'm picking up on. I feel like there's a, with this card, there's people that uh, you wanted, people, places, and things now, right, that you wanted to hold on to. I feel like you like, fuck it, Libra, for real. That's what I'm saying. There may be people that, uh, I feel like there's a situation, Libra, or situation, right? Where uh, you would like to hold on or fix or uh, what is it they're trying to tell me? Uh, confront or get closer on some things that never came your way and shit. And it's like, if you stay in this dark spot, right, it's death. It's like you got to go towards the light. It's like you did what you could do, Libra. Fuck, I can't rock with you no more. Anyway, <laughs> that's what I'm picking up on. I don't know, Libra gang gang. Let me know if that's how y'all feeling and shit. Honestly, like with the retrograde, you know how they say people were returning? I feel like if somebody returns to you, Libra, it's out of fucking fear, G. That's, I swear, I don't know why I picked that, but who, everybody's scared of death, ain't they? Well, I mean, some are, right? Some people are scared of death. I won't say everybody. But, I mean, it's inevitable, right? So it's like... You're going to meet. You're going to have that closure one day. Libra, if people approach you during the rest of this retrograde, they scared. Uh-uh, don't be scared. And not scared as in, like, you, well, you could, shit, intimidate them. But I feel like it's like, uh, 
These are people that are like tucking their tail and shit. You know what I mean? There's nothing for them to be scared of. I feel like it's fear on their end. Not on, It's not fear of you. It's fear on their end because they know they've kept you waiting or some shit like that, right? You were wanting to go into the light, but a motherfucker tried to keep you, you know what I'm saying? Out. You know what I'm saying? You ain't doing that shit. Retrograde. Retrograde on these nuts, right? All right, messages for Libra. This is strictly for you, Libra. Ain't nobody else. Don't nobody bring me no bad news. No bad news. This le- message is for Libra, my gang gang. King of Pentacles, right? You done came up as two kings. Messages for Libra. This is not going to be or cross watcher or nothing. This Libra gang gang, at least this portion. King of Pentacles, five of wands. That's what I'm saying. That's what they're saying. Resolve. Resolve. I kept trying to feel like, like what word? Kept saying closure and shit. Resolve. King of Pentacles with the Five of Wands and the Empress, right? That's what I'm saying, Libra. This King of Pentacles, I feel like this is you. I feel like, uh, Libra, you have grown. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you settled the fuck down, right? I can kind of relate. I haven't settled all the way down, but I feel like for a lot of y'all, y'all settled down. Y'all ain't, the nun ain't really all Libra, but I feel like most Libras are settled down. They real, y'all real chill people with shit when y'all want to be. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you, you've been patiently waiting for a track to explode on King of Pentacles with the five of wands there. Like I said, there's something you wanted some resolve to some closure with or something. You waited for a while. Pentacles ain't fast. Gee, they ain't, you know what I'm saying? I feel like no resolve ever came Libra. I still don't feel like no resolve is coming. Like I said, if somebody come and approach you, these motherfuckers in this five of wands here, if they come and approach the king, they definitely will feel embarrassed for the way they acted in front of the king. Look at this shit. Look at the king looking at him like you old, stupid, old, silly ass motherfuckers. Right. That type shit. Like you're looking down on these people, Libra, not necessarily looking down, but it's like you kind of rose above them. You know what I'm saying? Like that type shit. So if any of these people that had any type of low vibes and shit, negativity towards you, I feel like these people want to come back to you and they should have came back to you when you was the king of Pentacles and made shit right. But they did not So now you're the motherfucking empress slash emperor. It, this your card, Libra. Now you're this motherfucker. Don't you think it would have been easier for them to come and fuck with you on like, some King of Pentacles shit? Granted, you was already boss on some King shit, but I feel like uh, because it's like you waited. You stayed in King of Pentacles mode. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be patient. You know what I'm saying? Try to stack my cheddar, right? Get stable and shit. Grounded. Figure out who the fuck I am, right? Get Figure out who the fuck I is, right? And chill for a minute for I, you know what I'm saying? Transmigrate with the death card. I feel like this is, you waited for a while, Libra. It's time for some time for some action, King of Wands. Now you the fucking Empress. Now they really, it was already hard for these motherfuckers to approach the King of Pentacles. You think they gonna come and get you, get with you now, Libra? Now that you the Empress or slash Emperor? Nah, G. That's what I'm saying. I feel like this retrograde is bringing people back, Libra, for certain signs and certain things. But for, for us, I don't feel like that. I feel like you're almost too noble, G, at this point. And I ain't trying to pump your head up because I feel like you waited with this King of Pentacles. You grew. You, uh, you, they're saying begat. I love you guys. Look, begat. All right. What, what error is this, guys? You begat patience, right? All right, now, begat. I like that. Keep them coming. You, you, uh, basically, you know what I'm saying? Your patience grew. You were able to. Just chill and observe and shit and still fuck shit went on. You know what I'm saying? It never really resolved itself. And I can relate to this, Libra, because they say time heals all wounds. Patience is a virtue and all that shit. But what they fail to tell us is that, yeah, it does. But it heals your wounds. And patience is a virtue for you, not for the other motherfucker. That's why you turned into the Empress, G. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it really had nothing to do with these people, Libra. So basically, that's what I'm saying. You transmigrating. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't rock with you no more they definitely can't rock with your ass now they definitely can't that's what i'm saying you even i don't want to say you stoop down to these people's level libra but you at least kind of like met them on their level like look motherfucker if i gotta dumb down my vocab for you bitch then i will i just i care motherfucker right about a place person or thing i i have genuine interest in it and i would like to be involved right i would like to be i would like for this to be successful five of wands king of wands and shit motherfucker never met you on that shit libra it stopped your growth for a little while it did, but I mean, you were taught patience, but it still, I won't say it stopped your growth, but I'll say it, it caused a damn delay. You know what I'm saying? It did. And now you ain't rocking with these motherfuckers. This strictly for you, Libra gang gang. Five of wands. What's this five of wands here? Messages for Libra. What is this five of wands here? 
Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this shit just continued, my G. Uh, Libra, if there's a, I guess they're telling me this this situation because I feel like uh, there's a lot of y'all that don't want to leave a situation behind. Person, place, or thing. But what they're telling me is that with the King of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, you gave this time and opportunity, right? You did. And from what I'm looking, King of Pentacles ain't fast. You know what I'm saying? Now the King of Wands is fast with the death card because the King of Wands realizing you done sat around waiting on motherfuckers to change that just ain't going to do so. So now you got to kick in the King of Wands mode. Yes, Libra. But the message was that you did exude patience. You know what I'm saying? Like you did. And fuck shit kept continuing. You wasn't involved in it, right? You kind of stood on the sidelines waiting to see if a motherfucker, thing, place, person, whatever, the fuck was going to switch if the situation was going to change. Only thing changed out the situation was you, Libra. You, you became more abundant. You know what I'm saying? Crazy shit about it is that it's still you by yourself. The two of cups ain't came out. Six of cups ain't came out. Nothing with two people. It's just you. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, fuck. When you die, who going with you, right? Just you. When you born, who came in this motherfucker with you? Just you. It's like you kind of realizing that shit. And that's why you don't give a fuck about not rocking with nobody. Because I mean, shit, when I tried to be down with motherfuckers, they weren't trying to fuck with me. So, shit. It's kind of like uh, people will call you selfish right now, Libra, but you earn that shit, G. You, you, your heart, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It took a lot of heart and bravery to sit here and watch fuck shit go down person place or thing it, it affected you and because you kept your composure is what they telling me that's why you turned into the empress slash emperor that's why one on this empress ten of pentacles g that's all i'm saying gang gang pound that shit boop that's all i'm saying now it's two people you know what i'm saying and a dog and a cat and, and little kids and shit that's what i'm saying but these are pinnacles now. So you know this, Libra, like the transmigration, the death, death to them wands and shit. You done moved up to pinnacles, G. That's what I'm saying. There's some people that you, this is, you wanted to take them wand people with you. You wanted to take these wand people, places or things with you, right? And, and incorporate it into your life with the Empress and the Ten of Pinnacles. But these motherfuckers never, they ain't pinnacle people. You know what I'm saying? They ain't pinnacle things and pinnacle places. You know what I'm saying? They wand shits. You can't put the the square peg in the circle. You know what I'm saying? You just can't do the shit. But it's like, uh, I feel like you wanted to help people, Libra. But I feel like, uh, so now these people do want your help in the, in the retrograde. Yes, they do. But they ain't going to say shit to you, Libra. <laughs> they just ain't, G. Or these people, places, and things. If there's, say, if it's a thing or some shit, like, uh, I don't know, shit, your, your boss... Gave somebody else a promotion when you knew that motherfucker was going to quit the job in six months. And you tried to tell your boss, like, I don't think you should get that shit to, to Jody and shit. And they ask you why. You don't say shit. Like, I'm just saying, I don't think you should. They looking at you all funny. Jody quit. And they didn't gave the motherfucker the damn promotion and shit. It's like, I tried to be patient. Tried to tell these motherfuckers. Now these people ain't going to come and ask you, do you want the position, Libra? Because they, they butt hurt type shit. This is this type of shit. It's like you waited for them to see, like I told them. So maybe they'll come to me and know that I was a team player. I came and told the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they should give it to Jody. I wasn't messy. I didn't try to fuck up Jody money. Nothing. You just watched the whole fuck shit go down. Didn't nobody get no fucks, Libra. Nobody. And because of that, you were rewarded with the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. You're probably going to get the motherfucker job who hired Jody, G. This is how that shit work. Transmigration. Death to all that shit. I can't rock with you no more. Empress, Ten of Pentacles. Concern card. Let me put one with this concern card. Expectation. So a lot of y'all are worried if uh, you're going to be abundant, Libra. It's lonely right now, Libra, is what I'm picking up. It's almost like, damn, I mean, shit, am I the Empress? Am I going to get the Ten of Pentacles? I mean, I feel, I feel like this is you now, Libra, Empress, but again, Emperor slash, right, male or female. But you're sitting by yourself kind of wondering, like, concern, expectation, like, if this Emperor or Empress life is so great, where the fuck is all my shit, right? Where, where's all the palace privileges and stuff? Number one, Libra. In regards to a person, place, or thing, when you royalty, them motherfuckers always lonely, G. Don't nobody let they prize possession just go out all willy-nilly outside the kingdom. And if they do, that's a shitty ass, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, security, right? It's almost like you too pristine, G, to be going out kind of, you know what I'm saying? You can only get a Ten of Pentacles. You can't get less, Libra. So the Ten of Pentacles motherfuckers, uh, people, places, and things that you're looking for ain't just out on the street no more. Maybe some Five of Pentacles shit. Yeah, that shit is everywhere to be found, right? But the Empress can't do five of pinnacle shit. It's almost like you have surpassed anything 
less than what you deserve. You know what I'm saying? You're not taking it. And because you're not taking it, because your standards are high, Libra, it's almost like, well, damn, where is this shit? Am I going to ever get it? You will. You will, Libra, but the transmigration is what I'm picking up. It has to happen first, meaning that shit. It's some people you can't rock with no more. Even the motherfuckers you want to be down with and take on the, you know what I'm saying? They showing me the Titanic and shit. <laughs> they showing me the Titanic and motherfuckers pushing people off. Like, nope, less weight, the better. Like, no, the ship's still going to sink, right? But Libra's like, maybe if I get rid of other things, you know what I'm saying, I can keep these people. Like, the ship is still going to sink, Libra, period. You know what I'm saying? You got to get the fuck off, so you jump ship. And you become the empress with the ten of pentacles, but shit, all the motherfuckers on the boat with you. I mean, shit. Rose, you know what I'm saying? Leonardo, da it's, they frozen. They are. Let's see. What on these five of wands, these people, or places, or things? Because that's what I think this five of wands is. It's something that you wanted that didn't go right. It kept giving you, like, yeah, despair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, um, I feel like an anxious feeling, Libra, like waiting on somebody, something, or something to come through, and it's like, I can't wait no more. You know what I mean? Like, you are going to miss out on your opportunity. I don't know if y'all watch the Cosby show. They telling me about dance fever. If y'all watch the Cosby show, if that was a show you watched back in the day, but there was an episode where the son, Theo, his mom got, got him tickets to go on dance fever, which was like soul train and shit, right? And he was taking his homeboy with him and shit. They were best friends and shit. And so they went to the place or whatever. And the dude was like, Theo was like, I got two tickets. Dude was like, we only got one spot left. It's you or your friend. The friend was like, Theo, man, I don't feel right about doing it. Your mom, the one that got the tickets, right? Theo was like, no, nah, man, cockroach, you know, I know how bad you wanted to get up in there and see Laura. They go back and forth, back and forth. Eventually, Theo's friend was like, fuck it, motherfucker. I'm going to take the shit then, right? Fuck it. It's like being like that, Libra, you cost... It, it, you lost something and it was your fucking tickets in the first place. A good friend would have been like, no, nah, man, I insist. You the one that brought me to this motherfucker. Why would the friend take the ticket from Theo when Theo brought him there? But these are the type of people, places and things you were fucking with. It wasn't meant for you in the first place, G. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it really wasn't. But people are showing you who they are. That's why. So best believe Theo's friend would feel some type of way, which I think he did at the end about taking the ticket. That's what I'm saying. They gonna come if they come back to you, Libra, it's out of like shame, fear, guilt. These are people that you waited on, Libra, or cared about that did you like that. People, places, or things, G. King of Pentacles. Courtship. Yep, these are friends. I'm getting a relationship that hadn't even got to blossom to like a whole, its whole fullest potential. It's at the courtship. But it was like you were waiting for it to do that. And Yeah, man. Libra, don't trip, Crip. Just go on and... Walk towards the light, Caroline. Just go on and do it. They're here. You might as well just go on and do it. Empress, Ten of Pentacles, concern and expectation. Yeah, I don't let my period stop my day. Patty Smith, pop the tampon in blue, pop on the Harley. That's what I'm saying. It's like you're wondering if it's almost like, a, and I can relate to this, Libra. We've all gone through a big transformation this year, right? It's almost we're starting to question it. Like, is it to my detriment, Lord? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, am I the only one on this planet now? Like, I feel like I don't connect with nobody. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's, I don't feel like it's stopping your day, Libra, but it's almost like you're not connecting. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like it's a whole new social group, whole new setting, maybe whole new job, whole new place to live, whole new state. Something is going to be whole new. You got to die to that old shit, man. Shit, I'm talking to myself too, G. For real. For real. Five of Wands tarot. I mean, <laughs> that's crazy I said tarot because the word tarot is in the middle of this Wheel of Fortune here. So there's some people that try to stop you from doing tarot or look at you all kind of funny. That's probably definitely for me because I don't even know why I said that. But for Libras out there that do tarot, yeah, they talking shit. But you queen. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like a, that's why I said, Libra, this person, place or thing, whatever this situation is, you wanted to take it with you and kind of have it manifest with you because you king of pentacles so naturally you would want a king to match you or queen whatever the fuck you know what i'm saying freddie mercury we are the champions it's not i am the champion you were trying to take these people places or things with you libra but they ain't worthy i'm telling you so don't even trip crib i mean go on and transmigrate you know what i'm saying i can't rock with you no more basically Say it again, say it again. King of Pentacles. Yeah, of course. This is you waiting on the motherfucker. Kurt Cobain. 
That's what I'm saying. Being patient to smoke. This damn show me. Done smoked up all my damn Newports. You know what I'm saying? All my weed. Trying to stay patient and be cool. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to. It was like emotionally draining. You know what I'm saying? So you got to think about it this way, Libra. Prior to you leaving this situation, this situation was already emotionally draining. It was slow, stagnant. It wasn't going nowhere. If anything, it was stuck right where it was. You was waiting. You were patient and all that shit. Sat there, watched all the fuck shit go on, smoked your cigarettes, couldn't believe half the shit that you were hearing, seeing, thinking, whatever the fuck. But you're like, it'll get better. Queen, right? We can transform this shit, right? But it's almost like uh, you can't. So you turn, you realize that you can't, Libra. So you turn into the Empress slash Emperor Ten of Pentacles. But now it's like you're still in this, still, it's still a Kurt Cobain state is what I'm feeling. Not as bad, but it's still like concern and expectation. But I feel like I would rather you be in the concern and expectation, expecting good things to come your way, as opposed to you sitting here, King of Pentacles, courtship, Kurt Cobain, waiting on fuck shit to change. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if you look at it a different way, Libra, it's like now you're waiting on things to happen for you instead of waiting to make things happen for other people, places, or things. You see what I'm saying? Like, don't even trip, Libra. This show year, boo. Shine, shit. Shining, 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 shining. Yeah. All of this went in. Basically. Shit, take a bow, Libra. Shit, you deserve it. Now, that was just the message just for Libras right there. Let's see what's up with uh, Libras in love. I'm doing this a little different because I didn't know what I was doing. So we just going to freestyle this motherfucker. Star, reconciliation, healing, all that shit. Could be with an Aquarius, Libra. Seven of swords. Yeah, somebody, uh, your love life is healing itself, Libra. I feel like, it, and that's, I meant just what I said. It's healing itself. You know what I mean? Like, uh, because like I said, you're the Empress slash Emperor Ten of Pentacles. N Seven of Swords can't approach you. You know what I mean? It's like, look, she got her fist balled up behind him. Like she just going to knock him like, boop, right? Don't even, ain't even going to look at him. Just going to knock that shit out. Libra, you are, uh, you are, you're, what is the word I'm looking for? It's like you're, uh, maybe a one on the Seven of Swords will help me figure out what I'm trying to say. Two of Wands came out with the Seven of Swords. That's what I'm saying. People, I feel like more so people are not going to approach you. I'm still getting the same thing, Libra. So it could be a fire sign, King of Wands here, that wanted to make it right or whatever the fuck somebody you had conflict with. Because here's the Two of Wands, right? Could damn sure be an Aquarius with the Seven of Swords and this uh, Star card out here. Either way, Libra, it's like um, people are making a decision, love, interest, and shit on not to fuck with you <laughs> you know what i'm saying is what i'm picking up on they're thinking about how they approach you now you know what i'm saying with this star card it's almost like don't bother me i'm eating carl's jr you see the star hardy's for everybody else but it's carl's jr in los angeles don't bother me i'm eating libra i feel like you are only about to get real suitors like in your in your next relationship libra i'm being told it will be a real suitor it, because what you're, the energy you're giving off is Empress Ten of Pentacles. So, I mean, I'm sure somebody will try to approach you on some fuck shit, of course. But is that won't, I don't even feel like you would entertain it. You're ignoring them. You're the star, G. Come on. Tower at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, your next relationship, I feel like this is good. It's going to be uh, life-changing, Libra. Life-changing, G. Whether it's your divine counterpart or not, I'm not even uh, talking about that. But like I said, somebody's going to offer you some stability, some stability. You already got the 10 of pentacles up there. So somebody trying to offer you the 11th pentacle. I know you're like, where was this motherfucker when I was the king of pentacles waiting on the bitch motherfucker I was waiting on, right? Where was he then? It, was, it wasn't supposed to come to you then. It's supposed to come to you now, Libra. It was supposed to come to you now because it was almost like a, this page of pentacles person didn't need to be involved in this or place or thing didn't need to be involved in this five of wands shit i'm being told had you gotten this offer of love while all this other shit was going on whatever this is up here in this five of wands you would have lost this shit that person would have made a decision to run head for the hills it, it just wouldn't have worked out libra god is amazing man he be setting shit up he be setting shit up let's see one on the seven of swords two of wands this is what's coming towards you in love great fortune yeah, that's why I said anybody come towards you now, Libra, male or female, they gonna know you ain't about that bullshit. They gonna just know. You know what I'm saying? Men lie, women lie, energy doesn't, period. They gonna feel it. This is you now. You know what I mean? That's why I said death, transmigration. You ain't the same motherfucker. It's almost like a... 
they're making me feel like I'm walking towards something hot. And you know, when it get too hot, you can't even stand, like you could barely keep your eyes open, like walking too close to a, a barbecue pit or some shit, like, or standing there too long where it just gets intensely hot, like your eyelashes curl up. That's what they showing me right now, Libra. It's like anybody that tries to come to you on fuck shit, they eyelashes will curl up. Like they'll just shrivel, right? I'm melting, like that type shit. That's why you feel lonely right now, Libra, but shit, I mean, you it's gotta be like this, Libra. One on the star. This is what's coming towards you in love or just messages in love. Distant horizons. Yeah, you you think the, the way you perceive love is not the way everybody else do, does, Libra. So why would you even, why would God allow somebody to come and waste your time, especially now that you've evolved into this Empress and this Ten of Pentacles? Why would he allow somebody to come and waste your time now when you are like on some whole new level shit? Get on my level. Yeah, get on my level. Yeah, on that Wiz Khalifa shit. Why? They won't, y'all won't even have shit in common. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Distant horizons and the star. You are cosmic, dude. You know what I'm saying? On that 5D shit. That's what I'm saying. These, whoever, the seven of swords and all this shit, you're going to get some people approaching you, Libra. And I feel like if you get rejected after this transformation, if you are going to have gone through this transformation or you resonate with this message, if you get somebody and they ghost you, Libra, please motherfucking know. Please know that you just way too powerful and your brain is just way beyond this person's comprehension. Like, please don't take that shit personal. I am telling you personally, don't take it personal. Take the bitter with the sweet. Easy come, easy go. What's up, waxhead? Jermaine Jackson? Yeah, somebody want to come and put in that work. Page of Pentacles with the Seize Candies Lady with the buff ass arms. Somebody coming in to make a stable offer and they're going to prove it to you. You know what I'm saying? You'll know the difference. Marriage at the bottom of the deck, G. I'm telling you, Libra. That's what's coming towards you in love. But it's like after you say, I can't rock with you no more to these five of wands people. I feel like this is going to happen during this retrograde, Libra. I feel like uh, everybody thinks they got rid of everybody and shit. Like Libra's like, I don't have anyone else, none. According to this, there are still people. This doesn't mean that they're friends, Libra. These could be business associates, peers, conglomerates, motherfuckers at the Starbucks that you... It don't matter. If the motherfucker got bad vibes and bad juju, they gots to go. Transmigrate. Get to stepping, right? Get to stepping on that Martin shit. Oh, fucking well. Shit. Who's more important at this point, Libra? You or them? I mean... You gonna be lonely to the point where you just talking to random motherfuckers wasting your time or would you rather fill your time up with, you know what I'm saying, transmigration and shit? You know what I'm saying? I don't know about y'all, but I'll be transmigrating. <laughs> I'll be transmigrating. I don't know what y'all gonna do. But the nun transmigrates. One with the seven of swords, two of wands, and great fortune. Raggedy motherfucker card, Bruce Springsteen. That's what came out. That's why I said you're going to get people that approach you on that fuck shit, but it's like they won't even be able to get far. It's like that star card just kind of makes it like, ding, like it's a force field. That's why I said a force field around you. These motherfuckers can't get to you, Libra. Libra, you will never be in the situation if you are this, if this message resonates. I'm saying that because this ain't for all Libras in the world. I'd be a fucktard to think that shit. But if you a Libra, an ascended Libra, an awakened Libra, you know what I'm saying? A Libra in the convent that fucks with us like we normally fuck around with each other and shit. I promise you, you will never be in a relationship like the last ones or previous ones you were in. It's not going to happen, G. So please don't worry about it with this expectation and this concern card. I feel like it's being built is what they're telling me. Like you got a custom made some shit, you know what I'm saying? Something only fit for the empress of the emperor. You know what I'm saying? We don't buy shit off the motherfucking rack. I need my shit tailor made, biatch, right? They tailor making this motherfucker. So I'm telling you, Libs. Page of Pentacles occupation. This is this person with an offer for you, Libra. Look. So this person, Libra, has had a jilted heart as well. Yeah. How could you just leave me standing? This person <laughs> coming towards you, you both have this in common, Libra. Aretha Franklin and Prince, her with the jilted heart, Prince with the doves cry. Both of y'all have had some fucked up shit at, uh, fucked up shit happen to y'all in relationships. Y'all got that shit in common. That's why this person can really only offer you something small, but it's steady and they willing to show you. Bjork popped out, divine counterpart card. This could either be your divine counterpart or this person treat you with some respect and knowing that you don't play no fucking games because they sense the divinity in you. Either way. <laughs> Either way, motherfuckers ain't playing no games is what I'm telling you, Libra, in this next relationship. Star Distant Horizons. Stevie Wonder. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, no, that's what I heard. Very superstitious. Riding on the wall, right? That's what I'm saying. It's almost like a... You, that's why I said you cosmic, Libra. Like, it's not... <laughs> You can't wear shit off the rack, Libra. I'm sorry, but you can't. Like, maybe your feet too big. It's like, think of your love, uh, Libra, like Shaquille O'Neal. And let's say Shaquille O'Neal went to JCPenney's to go buy some jeans. Like, are you really going to be able to find jeans at JCPenney, Shaq? Are you really? Everything you get got to be custom made. Your bed, your couch, your car, everything is too big. You know what I mean? You like you got that Shaquille O'Neal type of uh, energy about you. Libra so you will be by yourself you know what I'm saying like can't everybody fuck with Shaq you know what I'm saying that he can't they can't they just can't do it so I'm sure and it's already awkward when he always is with those short ass women it always just looks kind of like weird but that's what he's drawn to whatever the fuck I just think it's strange for some change but even still you have to be a certain motherfucker to fuck with Shaq you know what I'm saying like period he always picks very strong women you know what I'm saying no matter the height they are strong apparently to deal with his ass right that's a big dude so that's what I'm saying. You both have something. This person is, uh, their energy is cosmic like yours, Libra. Whoever this person is. Again, could be an Aquarius. Uh, air, uh, yeah, Aquarius. Uh, another Libra, Taurus, fire sign. Uh, earth sign. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's up? We have 31 minutes. Let me see. Uh, let me ask a quick question. The person that Libra is inquiring about, how does this person feel about Libra right now? Lovers. Could be a Gemini or that damn divine shit. Ten, oh, my God. Ten of Cups, Libs. That's what I'm saying, but you went to... This motherfucker still don't match you, though, Libra. Look at you. I mean, not that he could have came out or she could have come out with Pinnacle since you had already had the ten, but it's almost like... So now this person is emotional, right? Carl Thomas. I'm emotional and I can't let go. I am trying to hold on. I'm trying to hold on. Like Carl Thomas on, he straight had to take a shit. Page of Pentacles. But this person, so this is the same person, Libra. So if this was a relationship, Libra, this person was on some fuck shit, right? Because you was king of Pentacles up there waiting on a motherfucker to bring you an offer, right? They never fucking brought the shit. So you moved on. I'm moving on. You turned into Maya, like I always say, right? Now this person want to offer some shit, but they still slow as fuck and you can't wait. You know what I'm saying? You done turned it to the king of wands. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. There's some people, Libra, that you are still trying to. Let's just say this, Libra. Let's say, let's say somebody, let's say your divine counterpart come back, right? Your divine counterpart come back and let's say a job calls you. They want you to fly across the country for some new job they, where you're going to be making like six figures. You got to stay there for eight months, but only you can come. They taking care of everything, room, board, getting you a car, everything you need. You, you never had this opportunity. And that's right when your divine masculine come back or divine feminine. What you going to do, Libra? What you going to do? You going to wait again, King of Pentacles? What if you do wait and then this motherfucker like, well, I can't really offer, offer Knight of Pentacles. That's what I'm saying, Libra. I'm, uh, we can all agree to disagree right here with what I'm about to say. But to me, the way a motherfucker feel and the way a motherfucker act are two totally different things. The way this person feels about you, Libra, they want you. Hell yeah. Bad, bad. Boy, I need you bad as a heartbeat or whatever she say. Bad like the air I breathe. Jasmine Sullivan, right? Jasmine, Jasmine Sullivan, but it's almost like you want them. What you can do is not enough. You already 10 of pinnacles. They giving you an opportunity to get 20 pinnacles, Libra. What you going to do? Wait for your person to give you that one. You better transmigrate and get the fuck on. That's what I'm saying. There's something. Some of you guys have already. There's stages. Some of y'all are still waiting on some situation to change. Right. So y'all are stuck there. Some of y'all are in the process of. Uh, like uh, trying to uh, be a peacemaker, you know what I'm saying? Offer an olive branch. Some of y'all are there. And some of y'all done said, fuck it, and moved on, right? It's almost like a, so there's stages of people. So it, I have no doubt that this is probably going to, uh, everybody's going to get to the end, right? But it's almost like um, 
for the people that have already made it to Empress State with the Knight of Pentacles, they ain't waiting on no motherfucking divine masculine, divine, none of that shit. They waited long enough. These opportunities that God is dropping and, and putting in your way for you to transmigrate and walk into the light, why the fuck would I sit and waste a second, third, fourth, fifth time on some shit that never did change? That was a constant cycle of fuck shit. Y'all better look, Libra, for the Libras that ain't where they need to be and y'all still waiting on the motherfucker or cross watcher because this could apply for you now, be careful, G. It sounds like a lot of y'all are willing to uh, put your dreams on the line. Not a lot of y'all, but there is a group of y'all who are willing to put yourself on hold um, because a motherfucker come and tell you some shit, Ace of Swords. A motherfucker tell you some shit. So this, the, the Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords, with this Lovers and this Ten of Cups, this is the equivalent of like somebody saying, I've been thinking about you, damn, the whole time we've been separated. I realize you my divine feminine slash masculine. I want to have your children, everything. Just give me six months, six months. I promise I'm gonna get that shit together. Six months, can you wait for me, right? They done already offered you this big deal, Libra. I feel like this is how this shit probably gonna happen to you too, Libra. That's why I'm giving you this scenario. Some of y'all gotta realize who's more important in your life, yourself or this motherfucker, for real. I feel like some of y'all gonna wait, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, and miss a, uh, and get cut out of an opportunity all for the name of love. That's fine if that's what you wanna do, but let's see what this knight got, right? Let's see what this knight has. What is this offer? Hangman reversed. So, I mean, shit, there's some movement. Shit, motherfucker ain't too, too stagnant, but it's still a Knight of Pentacles. So, high honor card. Okay, God is involved. Work. Work, 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 work. Okay, so this person's going to put in effort, right? So, God is here. So, now we know this person has a genuine offer. God is here. If this offer is that genuine, Libra, right? And God is in control, right? And, and this person, everybody's clear God is in control. Then why wouldn't this person be able to wait on you to go make them fucking 20 pinnacles, right? When you waited on their motherfucking ass is what I'm telling you, G. Don't throw your life away for a motherfucker, especially if God made, if this is meant for you, Libra, it's for you regardless. However long you go across the country and do some work or whatever the fuck. If God meant it for you, he will. He'll save that man or that woman for you, period. If it's, I mean, shit, it looked like it's a divine love. So basically what this is telling me, Libra, is that whoever the person is you're inquiring about, they want to be with you. They are taking a long ass time. They getting enlightened and shit. They see the truth and shit. But please don't stop your fucking hustle, your grind and your glow up for this motherfucker because they ain't ready, ready. They just ready. You know what I'm saying? Like just because the food came out the oven, you still got to let that motherfucker cool off. It ain't, I mean, shit, you could eat it, but you're going to burn your tongue. Ace of swords. So, I mean, shit, y'all do what the fuck y'all want. Lover's card. Yeah, this person ready to seal the whole motherfucking deal with your ass, Leaper. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still slow. One on this Ace of Swords. This is how this person feels about you. I mean, shit, you already at the 10. So what this person is offering you will never match up to the opportunity that you're getting. This could be an opportunity. I'm just using the job as an example. But what if you meet somebody already at 10 of Pentacles status, Leaper? He or she already got some shit popping. Then your divine counterpart come back talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Shit, maybe God did send this person back. Maybe the God could have sent this person back for a lesson, you know what I'm saying? To figure out next time you need to put in some more work, motherfucker, toil and labor. It, it, there's a number of reasons, Libra. All I'm telling you is you, can't, you can no longer put yourself on the back burner because somebody come back and apologize. Because a lot of times, like I said, it's out of fear, guilt, conviction, right, from God, all that shit. It could just be to talk, closure, something. And I ain't picking up that you supposed to put your whole life on hold for a motherfucker. So if you're still sitting waiting on the motherfucker, Libra, I need you to question yourself. Yeah, unexpected income came up with this Ace of Swords. This person is ready to fuck with you, but it's like not when you want to. You know what I'm saying? They ain't came with the shit now. They're like, well, give me six more months and then I'll be able to pay you. Right? Okay. If, this, if God sent this person back to you, Libra, then they will wait for you. What's for you is for you. Period. So I'm saying... Stay on your Emperor Empress shit and get that fucking Ten of Pentacles and shit. I can't rock with you no more. Now, in eight months, I might be able to rock with you. But right now, I can't rock with you because uh, my destiny is ahead of me. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to rock with you, G. I was trying with the Five of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. I miss shit. I said for a long ass time, I became two kings. A king and an empress waiting on your motherfucking ass. King of Wands, King of Pentacles, and an empress. And you didn't rock with me. Now that my shit popping and shit, you come with this Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, God did send you back. But I have a feeling, Libra, it was a lesson for this person. Not necessarily for you to be like, oh my God, that's my twin flame. He wants me. Or she. Nah. <laughs> nah. 
oh, this came out with lead belly face and bad blood. Yeah, it's almost like uh, this person is like, come on, come on, toots. My name is the prince. Besides, would a lunatic have a Porsche like this? Right? They laying it on thick, Libra. But it's still like they ain't really sure. They still got lead belly face when it comes to bad blood, meaning they ain't really ready to settle settle they can't really talk about what the whole shit was like you ask them some questions like okay well when you want to do this shit like you what's up when you getting married like what in four months five months what what's up motherfucker get lead belly face on your ass but they feel like coming to you and letting you know that they uh feel this connection or that this connection is what you think it is and they feel the same way is enough to stop you from transmigrating i think the fuck not i think the fuck not lever ten of cups transmigrate boo yeah, privileged lady. Yeah, they recognize your ass and the death card. You know what I'm saying? This is this person who ended some shit with you, Libra, when they recognized who you. I feel like they knew who you were before. You were the fucking king of pentacles. I mean, shit, you wasn't no Rudy Poot ass motherfucker. You were somebody. You always were. You know what I'm saying? But now you done bossed up to the privileged lady, but they still ain't even got shit to offer you. That's what I'm telling you, my G. That's what I'm saying. So please, Libra, don't put your life on hold waiting on a motherfucker who ain't even got shit to... If this motherfucker can't match the offer that whatever this person, place, or thing is already offering you and you've accumulated on your own, please don't fuck your destiny over for this person. If this person, again, was sent from God, this person will remain there. Nina's Blues, they sad. Shit. You know what I'm saying? They sad as fuck. Like I said, if somebody returned to you during this retrograde, Libra, it's because they need help, sympathy, pity. They scared. They confused. They, you know what I'm saying? Ashamed, guilt. You know, it's like the, the medicine healer. Yeah, material world. This person is like lost or something, Libra. So all I'm saying is, Libra, it's okay to extend a helping hand to this person, but don't put yourself in the, in the backseat getting down. And my Brian McKnight voice. Don't put yourself in the backseat for this motherfucker. Yeah. No. Ace of Swords, unexpected income. Yeah, Richard Dreyfus, Mr. Holland's Opus, even though this is Paul Simon. But this is how this person feels about you. What they say is cool, but then it just gets mad. You know what I'm saying? It just falls off again, Libra. So now that you know this person loves you, they recognize you as their divine counterpart. Yeah! Woo! And then it just get quiet. Crickets. Tumbleweed. Don't shit happen, Libra, is what I'm telling you. This person could love you all day, G, all day long. This, I feel like this is somebody, Libra, for some of y'all. Y'all got to let go of this motherfucker if you want to transmigrate and be the motherfucker you claim you want to be. You know what I'm saying? You trying to take, you know what I'm saying, old clothes and put them in the new closet. You can't do that shit. It will not happen. You will stay stuck in this King of Pentacles energy as this motherfucker's fuck buddy or friend forever. You just will. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going to happen. And you will constantly be involved in fuck shit. Five of wands with that. And watch this person be in fuck shit, basically. Or this situation, person, place, or thing. Right? For the Libras that have already passed and are like in this process and are getting to this ten of pentacles and this uh, empress status and shit here, I feel like you're going to have a choice between two people, G. I feel like as soon as you get, you're either going to have a choice between two people, a person and a place, meaning that something's going to put, like you have to move or something and that's when your divine counterpart or your soulmate comes back or you're going to already have a soulmate and your divine counterpart comes back or it's like two things you're going to have to choose between, Libra, two. But what I'm going to tell you, my advice to you, Libra, is bet on Libra. You know what I'm saying? Make sure Libra profits out of that. Is what I'm telling you. And whatever is left over, then shit. Like it says, my cup runneth over. If your cup don't runneth over, Libra, then you ain't got nothing to spare. But if your cup runneth over, then sure. Shit, spread a little. That's what's up. But I feel like y'all, we ain't really in no position for our cup to run it over because we still expecting and looking out the window with concern. This lets me know our cup isn't running over. So you are in no position to stop your transmigration, Libra. You got to keep moving till your cup runneth over, G. All right? All right, Libra, that's been your retrograde bonus for July. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Libra. Give no fit not. Still, thank you for visiting my channel and my trip in or not tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you could call me the ghetto nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. All right, uh, info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.